I'm Joshua Farnsworth with Wooden Shop, and I am uh, in the process of finishing off the tenon to put here in the mortise on these table legs or the desk legs on this antique style desk that we're building. Uh, so uh, let's get started and look at how to, to trim this tenon off. All right, so you can see we've got our Roman numerals matching there and there. Always check that to make sure you're putting them in the right, right one. So uh, you can see here on the other side that's going to be facing downward. I've got a decorative bead cut on here. I just took a, a beading plane. Like this this beading plane, a little small one. Uh, what size is it? Oh, something like a 3 16th or something. And uh, just use it to used it to put a bead on here. Decorative bead. You don't have to do that, but it looks a little bit nicer. So once you're certain you've got the right the right number and it's facing the right direction, the correct direction, your Roman numerals should should be facing inward so you don't see them from the outside. You can stick your ten in there. You can see how that's a little loose, but that's okay because we're gonna we're gonna go and uh, use the draw boring next draw boring technique which is also uh, called pegging your tenons. So I, I set, this is how I do it, I don't know how other people do it, but I push the bottom of the tenon up against there and then I mark that. You can go a little out here if you're nervous. And then what I do is I take a nice accurate uh, square I guess this doesn't have to be an incredibly accurate measurement, but because you you can pair it off. But I uh, draw that there, and then one across the top. Okay, and then I can X that off, and that's going to come off, and then it's going to go like that. And then this will allow it to snug right in there. So let's take this out, the leg out, and put this where everybody can see it. All right, push this right there. So for this. You can use a little dovetail saw because you can see it'll go down through there and you're not cutting through very much depth here. So make sure that you put it on the waist side, not on the tenon side here. And make sure it's not twisted. This is why that little that little line there is important. And I stick my thumb right here, careful not to cut it. I can stick it there just to give it some guidance. Very lightly start down. Just watch yourself so you don't cut down into the shoulder there. Then you can use a crosscut saw to come in here. If you want, you can rest it on the shoulder. And then trim that off, a little piece. And then I use a little, I use a chisel, one that's wider than the board here so it can rest on the shoulders. And just pair that off and clean it off so it's that little stub is gone. And that's really clean. And if you want to clean this up with the chisel, you can. But first, I'd recommend testing your tenon. Okay, so let's see. This looks like. There you go. Okay. So we'll face it, try it in there. Yep, so this needs a little trimming, which I did on purpose so you could see you could see how far away I am from the line there. So let me just trim a little bit off and you can creep up to it. Don't take too much off. So 
There you go. Oh yeah. This way everyone can see it. So you can see that fits in there. So now you can see my line that was an estimate there of where the top was going to be is, is wrong. And that's pretty typical. That's why you take the a pencil there and that's going to be cut off. So what I would do, this is my preference, is I I would go ahead and take this over to the uh, miter box saw and trim it off above that line and then you'll get rid of that part. But also while you're at the miter box saw, as I mentioned before, you can see that tenon is going to is in the way of the other tenon going in through. So you need to, let me put this back here. So we need to take off a miter and make sure you are marking this correctly so that when the other one goes in there, they can fit in as a miter, right? As I mentioned in the earlier video. So just set this on the miter box and slice down at a you know an easy 45 degree angle. It's easy to do on a miter box saw. And then you'll be ready to stick it in there. So I typically don't do my last my last uh, stretcher here until after I've pegged all the other tenons because I like to get all the other sides. Um, uh, nice and tight. I'll go ahead and uh, move on in the next video to draw boring or pegging the tenons to, to draw these nice up and tight. If you're interested in learning traditional woodworking with hand tools, visit my website at woodandshop.com where you'll find free video tutorials, buying guides, workshop tours, and reviews. Make sure you subscribe to receive my regular blog posts and YouTube videos and don't forget to check out my 10 steps for getting started. Enjoy!